Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video for brain food, we are baking. I love baking and I don't really think we've done much baking on my channel for a while. So got my sleeves all rolled up and I'm ready to go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make, get this, mini pumpkin donuts. I am so excited to try these out. I actually haven't made them yet because I wanted to test them out on camera with you guys and we can actually see if they work because I went to Target recently and I was so excited to use this. I bought a mini donut maker. It was about $15 and I am so looking forward to using it. I have been waiting because I think I'm gonna make mini donuts for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I really want to. So let's get started. I've got a bunch of different ingredients here and I'm gonna take you through the steps and hopefully this all turns out really good. So if it does and you guys enjoy it, then thumbs up, let me know. And yeah, let's get started. Got my mixing bowl here. I'm just gonna mix it with a fork actually because I can't find my whisk, but it's fine. And I've got some gluten-free flour. So yes, I am trying to eat gluten-free for my diet. So if you guys are sensitive to gluten and wheat, then you can also try out this flour. This one's by Bob's Red Mill. I don't know if you guys have it in your supermarkets, but it's really good. So I'm gonna add one and a half cups of gluten-free flour. Of course, you can use any flour that you like. If you wanna use white flour, you could use rice flour, whatever floats your boat. So I'm gonna put in one cup and a half. I love my little pineapple measuring cup. It's so cute. I've also got a little orange for my brown sugar, but that's to come. Okay, so that's about one and a half into the bowl it goes. Next, I'm gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. Now, I like to use brown sugar. I just think it's a bit of a healthier alternative to white sugar or caster sugar. So there's half a cup of brown sugar in there. And then I'm also going to add half a cup of rice milk. So, give me a bit of a shake. If you guys wanted to use rice milk, soy, whatever milk you like, you can use. And I'm just adding half a cup here just so it's gonna be nice and moist and we'll be able to mix. Ooh, it's a bit of a splash. <laughs> we can mix all the ingredients in in a moment. Okay, so in that goes. By the way, there's actually no eggs in this recipe either. The recipe that I found online, I tweaked it a bit and I'm not using eggs because, yeah, make it vegan friendly for you guys. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of coconut oil. This is organic virgin coconut oil and it's almost empty. I like using it whenever I make my little buckwheat pancakes for breakfast, which I showed you in a previous brain food video already. So if you guys haven't watched that, you can go back and check that one out. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon. In you go. All right, next I'm gonna add half a cup of the pureed pumpkin. So you can actually buy pureed pumpkin ready-made, but I did it myself because we actually had some pumpkin with our dinner last night. So I roasted that and I pureed it or mixed it up in the bar mixer. And I'm gonna add half a cup of pumpkin. And this is also gonna make it really nice and sweet and really creamy. So I'm really excited to try this. I've cooked with sweet potato. I've never actually baked with pumpkin. So I'm hoping it turns out really good. I guess we will see. I'm going to add the spices. So actually before I add the spices, I've got half a teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda. That's just gonna help the batter to rise and the donuts will be a little bit more fluffy. And then I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I used pink Himalayan rock salt because, I don't know, I just think it's a really nice healthy salt to use. And then I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So that's going to go in as well. And now it's just time to mix everything up before popping it into my mini donut maker, which I've actually greased already and it's on so it's heating up as we speak. This is definitely going to make more than six mini donuts. I feel like it's going to make quite a lot. So I think Adam's going to be really excited because he loves when I film brain food. It means there's all these delicious treats in the house. And I love it too because I get to reap the rewards and eat them as well. Oh, I feel like it's a serious workout, guys. Okay, so, oh yeah, it's steaming. It's ready to go. I've just got a nice big spoon here, so I'm going to plop, <laughs> plop, it sounds so appetizing. I'm going to place some batter into each of the little donut molds and hope it all comes out really well. I actually don't know how much to place because I've never made them before, so 
I'm going to try and not put too much in because I know it has to squish it down between the top and bottom mould. So here's hoping it works out. Mm. Yum, that's really good. Okay, I'm going to close the moulds. Hopefully nothing spills out. Okay, <laughs> all looks good. So I'm going to close the lid off. And yeah, now the light's gone red, so I'm just gonna have to wait till it turns green and then it's ready to plate up. Okay, donuts are ready. Time to inspect and see if they actually turned out okay. Right, let's clip this open. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Okay, I clearly poured in a little bit too much batter because it's gone all over the sides. But apart from that, I mean, if I just cut off the excess batter, they look really good and they're really nice and golden. I think it's the pumpkin and the cinnamon and also the brown sugar. It just gives it this really nice colour. So I'm going to cut off the excess and take them out. And I'm actually going to dust them with some really yummy ingredients. I'm going to dust them with some coconut sugar and also some extra cinnamon. Together, it's just going to make it a really, really nice coating on the donuts. I didn't really want to do any icing, so I thought that would be really unhealthy. And this is brain food. So this is my little healthy twist on how to decorate your donuts and make them a little bit more special. Okay, these actually look so good. I'm thinking I might make one more batch after this, but just to show you guys how they've turned out. Look at that, I made mini donuts. They look so good and honestly they smell better than they even look. All right, time to dust them. So I've got my coconut sugar and cinnamon here and I'm just going to pat them on both sides and hopefully because they're still really nice and hot, the sugar is going to bind to them nicely. Okay, last one. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands and then I'm gonna try these because they look so good. Okay, bench is tidy, hands are washed. It is time to try these. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I think I wanna make a whole range of different mini donuts. Mm. Oh, it's so doughy and chewy on the inside. Oh my gosh. I'm in heaven right now, guys. I'll just be here for another five minutes finishing these off. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed today's video of brain food, then thumbs up, let me know. And also if you guys try out your own mini donuts or if you have made mini donuts before, then please let me know. You can either upload a photo onto Instagram or Twitter and just tag me at Studies with Jess because I love to see when you guys recreate these recipes at home. I think it's so cool. Also, if you guys aren't subscribed already, then you can click on my face over there to subscribe and join in on the Jessica fun. And if you want to check out a previous video, then click over there. All right, guys, have a very happy and productive week. And I'm in heaven right now. I, I just, I love these. They're so yum and they're actually pretty healthy. Who would have thought pumpkin for baking makes for a really good recipe? All right, guys, I'm going to just continue eating my way through these donuts and I'll see you in a couple of days. Love you. Bye. Why aren't you ready yet? It's been five minutes. It smells so good though. The weight better be worth it.